Now we're starting to put our beam forms all together here. We've got all our pieces cut. Um, so I want you guys to see how this is all going to go together. Um, we're going to take, we have our outside form all set. And what we're doing is we're actually taking a cleat and attaching it right to the column. So what that's doing now is that's keeping our outside form tight to our columns. So what we need to do now <clears throat> is we always want to just double check, make sure we're maintaining square outside, outside corner to outside corner. We go. Looks good. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we have a bunch of these smaller pieces cut. We're going to end up cutting some more cleats. Um, we just want to form the inside. So we've got to take these panels. We're going to start to form the inside, if you guys can see this on the camera. Of our beams. And then we'll take a cleat. We're going to put it right in the corner to hold all this together. So we're going to... So the concrete's got to get a, ultimately poured. The beam and the column will be one uniform monolithic, if you will, pour. Once we get that done, then we'll work on the deck, which will be up on top of it here. Um, what we'll also end up doing is we're going to cut some pieces that will probably go mid-beam and attach from top of form to top of form. That way it'll keep it from pulling apart as we uh, pour this. So we're going to start to form the inside pieces. Once we form the inside pieces, we can then take our bottoms, line everything up, and put a couple screws up through it to hold it all together. You want to make sure that you can get to the screws at all times, uh, because once you pour it, if you pour over the head of a screw, you'll never get the formwork apart. So we're going to go ahead and start putting together the inside forms, and uh, we'll come back when we've got that set. <laughs> 